Tonight, EMSA tells us medics have already taken 14 people to the hospital just in the last two days after the heat made them sick. Today is one of the hottest days of the year, and some in Tulsa tell us they're getting little to no relief inside their own homes, and they want answers from their landlord. Two News Oklahoma's Samson Tamajani talked to people who live in one South Tulsa complex, as well as a rental expert. The soothing sound of an air conditioning unit is a necessity during Green Country's grueling heat spell. But for Madison Beebe, a single mother of two small children at Crossing at Southern Hills, it hasn't even been an option. They don't provide us no ACs. We're supposed to have central heat and air. We don't have no air at all. The only relief in her Section 8 apartment is a rented window unit her mom got for her that she sticks in her kid's bedroom, she says. She tells me over the phone she's gotten minimal response from property management and worries for her daughter with asthma. There's a lot of people out here with the same problems because everybody out here has kids, single parents. We all have to buy our own window units, which we can barely afford. Mackay Samuel also lives at the complex and says he and some of his neighbors are recently without AC. Like, even with my fan on, I'm burning up in there and then... I woke up with a bit of a, like a cold or something too, so that ain't helping my case. The management office here at the crossing at Southern Hills didn't want to offer any official comment. I then called their corporate office, Red Oak Management, but didn't hear back. But I also spoke with Legal Aid Services of Tulsa who want residents and anyone watching this to know their rights. This landlord has signed an agreement with the housing authority promising to provide these services. And if the landlord doesn't provide those services, the housing authority will come out and inspect and protect that tenant's right to have those services. But they do that by making the tenant move. Unfortunately, eviction lawyer Eric Howlett says it takes four to six months to find another Section 8 unit. In Beebe's case, Tulsa Housing Authority says it hasn't received an official notice since last year, but did add this statement reading in part that for a broken AC unit, the landlord will have 24 hours to make the repair. During the sweltering heat, these residents say they have a simple demand. Fixing the air. It's too hot for my kids to be in there like this way too hot. As much as I hate cold weather, this is this is too much for me. This heat weather is, is too much. It's unfair that me and my family, people like me and my family have to go through stuff like this. In Tulsa, Samson Tamajani, 2 News, Oklahoma.